Hey friends, welcome to Day Bird Aviaries. I am so glad you're here. We're going to feed these little baby birds that we have today. We have some little ringnecks and then that cockatiel. Well, she's almost winged, but we're going to show her anyhow, okay? Let's get right to it. Now you can see in here I have a bowl full of babies. Um, I'm going to get the formula out, you know, just like always. I know that I do the same thing over and over again. This is the Hagen Tropican Baby Bird Food Formula. Uh, I want to show you how much these little guys have grown. We've got a bag of pipettes here. You can get all this stuff from my Amazon link. Just uh, click in the description. It's the Amazon Associate Program. This uh, bag of pi uh, 100 pipettes is about $7, and I may earn $0.20 cents if you buy that. Uh, it's no extra cost to you. It's paid for through the Amazon's affiliate program. Uh, that's enough of the commercial. Let's show. Just going to mix this up. I mix it just a little bit runny. You want it like a runny applesauce. It's going to thicken as the grains, the starches, absorb the liquid. It's going to thicken. You can see it's already getting thicker and thicker. You want it as thick as possible while it's still able to flow through the, the pipette. So we're going to start with the teeniest little baby. Look at this little guy. Look at that. Eyes are still closed. Oh, this is going to be a, an albino or a... I've got to put my glasses back on. It could be a... a, a um, what is it? A cremino? Or a, palad, or a paladino? It could be blue or turquoise pallid. Or blue or turquoise paladino. Here, let me get that off of you. Now you need just a little bit more, okay? I um, I sucked up water in that pipette, and it should not have done that. So I'm gonna get more food. You want the formula to be about a hundred degrees, okay? Ninety, ninety-nine, a hundred, all the way up to about a hundred and two, a hundred and three. So right at a hundred is good. There you go, sweet little baby. Look, you can see his little crop is full now. Now they're dirty because their parents were dirty in the nest box. And I just haven't gotten all that cleaned off yet. I'm waiting for it just to kind of shed off on its own. That's easier and better for them, don't you think? Than me trying to have to scrape it off or give them a bath. Here, little baby. But they want to see your crop fill up. Let's see. Here. Oh, look at that. Isn't that the coolest thing? Now their esophagus is on the right side of the bird. That goes down into the crop. This little pouch. Their trachea is on the left side. You never want the food to go down their trachea. They're going to get choked and they'll aspirate and die. Now you can see I'm not forcing that down his neck. I'm letting him swallow the food on his own. That's about all that he can handle. Look at that. Isn't that the coolest thing? Now, for this bigger baby. Look. Can you see the colors on the wings? I'm pretty sure that's going to be an albino, a solid white. But she's got her red eyes. I'm just as pleased as punch about this. Love these. Love these birds. Here. You want some? Jeremiah's here with me. He's waiting patiently for me to be done so he can help clean up and go play Legos or Roblox or watch videos or talk to his girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend and you won't let me play in multiplayer games. He can't play multiplayer games? And if you don't know, Roblox is a very multiplayer uh, game. I don't let him talk to people. That's why he doesn't have a girlfriend, because I won't let him play Roblox. No. He's 13 now. He's growing up. Yeah. He's not my little boy anymore. He's not in children's church anymore. He started youth group last night. I don't think he likes his youth pastor. He's got a smart aleck comment to say, I'm his youth pastor. Hey baby, hey, look at that, look at that, look at that. 
I think it's funny, somebody on a video a week or two ago, they said I'm the Bob Ross of bird, birds. They're, they're no mistakes, just happy little birds. It's a happy little bird, Jeremiah, just a happy little bird. Catherine loves Bob Ross. She doesn't think I'm very much like Bob Ross at all. I've had the afro before. Daniela got tired of looking at it, so she shaved it off. Okay, so well, these are ready to go back in the brooder, and we're going to get the little cockatiel out. Now, Jeremiah's bringing me the cockatiel. Like I said, she is just about when she is eating seeds and pellets and vegetables and stuff on her own. She is flying around, so I'm going to have to keep my fingers on her. But look how beautiful she is. She is a, first of all, she's a white face. That means she doesn't have any yellow coloration on her at all. You know, in an Indian ringneck, she would be a blue, but since cockatiels don't appear to be blue, we call this a white face. Secondly, she's cinnamon. Instead of the dark gray, she's a soft dove brown gray in color. And thirdly, she's a pearl. That just means she's got all these beautiful speckles and spots. Y'all know I love speckles and spots and lace, and that's why I like those gold lace polish and the... The blue lace wine dots. I'm listening at her. She's still eating at night, but she didn't want any food at all this morning. She threw a fit and spit it out and protested wildly and flew up on top of the ceiling fan in the kitchen, which of course was off. You know, we don't ever have a ceiling fan going when a bird's loose. But uh, anyhow, she's growing up. I'm hoping that some of these other eggs, now that it's warmer, some of the other cockatiel eggs will start hatching. We have more baby ringnecks down in the aviary that are, you know, just teeny little itty bitty things. Uh, supposed to get cold again Saturday morning. You're watching this on Friday. We're actually recording this late Thursday night. I'm going to stay up tonight and edit this and get it published so you can watch it. When you're watching this Friday morning, we're actually going to be on the road. We're going to go down to Montgomery, and we're going to visit with some friends. They live in Mobile, and they're going to meet us in Montgomery. I'm going to take them a couple birds, and they're going to bring some birds back, and we're going to visit a very special place. Y'all make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure that you uh, have that little bell on for notifications. Join our Facebook group, uh, like us on Facebook and Instagram, I'm on TikTok and Twitter and Tumblr, whatever in the world that is. I um, only have some of those accounts because Instagram <laughs> automatically created them for me one day, and so I share from Instagram to there. But anyhow, I digress. We got a lot of exciting videos coming up in the next week or two, and you're not going to want to miss any of them. I got to show you those baby goats that we brought home from Wholesome Roots. And we're going to show you the new birds that Michael's bringing us tomorrow. Well, anyhow, thank you so much for watching. God bless you. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you.